I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMER2 News Top Stories. Homicide detectives are investigating the death of a paramedic who stopped breathing after a night out with co-workers. Shani Weirheim died early Sunday morning. Police say off-duty firefighters were doing CPR when they arrived to a location on Light Street in South Baltimore. Her friends realized that she wasn't breathing about an hour after they left the bar. She started with Baltimore City Fire in 2018. A new Emerson College poll has former Governor Larry Hogan and Representative David Trone tied in the race for the Senate. That would be if both win their respective primaries. In the Republican primary, Hogan leads with 43 points, with no other candidates reaching double digits. In the Democratic primary, Trone has a 14-point lead over Prince George's County Executive Angela Also Brooks. Get all the fun of hanging out with a dog without the cost of owning it. Barks starts its Dog Days Out program February 24th. Anyone over 18 can sign up to take a dog out on an adventure. Everything from a hike through the woods to a nap at your house. The program gives shelter dogs a chance to get out of the kennel, find a new foster home, or maybe even get adopted. You can find more information on our website. Hey there, Maryland meteorologist Allie Blake, and we are getting ready for our next chance of flakes. And we start off, of course, your Friday with sunny skies. The clouds then thicken throughout the day, and we likely see an onset late Friday into early Saturday morning, likely a couple stray showers before eventually changing over to all snow early Saturday morning. Most of the flakes stop before you even get out of bed, likely into the rest of the forecast. Not only do we see more sunshine, but temperatures make it run back to the mid 50s.